Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of some things I just received in the mail today. They all ended up coming on the same day, so it's going to be a fairly long video. Um, so let's get started. So right now I'm going to be unboxing my package from the Montreal Critters. And this will be containing lots of things for my hamster. So inside this package, I have a little invoice with a cute little hamster sticker on it. And it just states the three things that I bought. So the first thing I got was this natural hut, and it looks like this. It's, I got the small size, and I was thinking about giving this either to my robo or my new Syrian that I'll be getting at the end of the month. So we'll see, and I have some ideas for this for a new cage tour, or for a cage setup decoration. The second thing I bought was this grassy teepee. So it's kind of, it's about the same size as the hut. And either my Syrian or my Robo will be enjoying this. So it's really nice. And I wasn't able to find any of these in my pet smart or pet value. So I was able to get one of these here. So I'm really glad. And it's really cute. Last but not least from Montreal Critters is this. Nossim hut and it's in this size small and it comes with these little pieces that way I can add them into the sides which are over here so that way they can climb up and I can use it also as a hide so this is really interesting. So next I have my package from Catland. The first thing I have is this vegetable large. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be this big so I might just end up, end up using it as a hide or maybe for a sand bath. Um, so yeah, and the other thing I bought was this combo toy, so it's from the KT brand and it's a little hamburger so it has wood and some leaflet in the middle, so this will be for one of the hamsters. So the next package I got was from BioVet and I'm really excited because it's all the way from the UK and I can't wait to see what's in the first box. I think the second box is being shipped so that will come sometime. So the first, oh, they're kind of broken, but the first thing I see are these natural dandelion sticks, and they're from the Rosewood brand, and they have cereal, seeds, vegetables, dandelion, nuts, eggs, and egg products. So that's the first thing. Next, I order these crunch and munch millets. And these are the vegetable flavored ones, so they are for rabbits, guinea pigs, hamsters, rats, mice, and gerbils. So this looks really yummy. I guess they're all different flavors. They're really big, so I'll have to try to break these in half. They're just little slices for the hamsters. I also ordered these natural strawberry sticks and these look really tasty. I know Trim loves strawberries, so I can't wait to see what she'll think of these. Next, I have these shrimp cookies, and I'm going to have to break these up because they look fairly big, and they look pretty tasty, so that'll be interesting to test out. And last but not least, I have these carrot and fennel sticks. And I'll definitely be breaking these into little pieces as well because they are quite big and I don't want um, trim to eat too much of them because they're a treat. So that's everything that I got from BioVet. The first thing I bought was this Gordon Breaker from Rosewood. And it looks like this little jungle gym here. And I think this will be okay for my Syrian. We'll have to double check when I get it. And I can't wait to see what's inside. So inside the box, everything comes like this, so I'll have to assemble it after. The next thing I ordered was this grass hut. So I'm thinking about doing a cage thing for this, and this looks like a perfect size for my Syrian that I'll be getting, or my Rebel Hunter Trim. 
And last but not least, I ordered these um, wheat sprays. Rossi and order were these wheat sprays. And I've seen lots of YouTubers use these for their natural themes. So they're good for rabbits, guinea pigs, chinchillas, hamsters, gerbils, mice, and rats. So this looks pretty interesting. I'm not sure if they'll actually want to eat it. Um, we'll have to find out and see. 